We want to help you have the best summer ever. And one of my favorite parts is to enjoy sweet treats on the porch with my girls. And our next guest has simple dessert ideas, no oven required, just the grill. And they're so easy the kids can help too. We welcome back co-owner of Cafe 421, Antigone Sander McLeod. Hi, Hi. 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 We're ready this, to dig in. And right? I have to start, this here on the end looks beautiful. I almost don't want to mess it up. I know, right? That's why I brought these cute little to-go ones That's so that I so can just keep running this pretty. around like a display <laughs> for people because it's so cute, right? So this is a grilled peach trifle. Yes. Oh, I love that. And a trifle basically is fruit, cake, and cream. And, and all then good things. all good things. things. I, love, I love cake. Right? I love, I love fruit. All three of those things. And I you love, love dessert. Yeah, right? <laughs> and you love not baking. Right. So, so we're, the we're winning. The easier, the better. Awesome. Okay. So here we have started with a few store bought items already. Okay. I have, um, I'm using a Sarah Lee pound cake for oh, this because it's pretty common. You can buy it in pretty much any grocery store and it goes a long way. I swear, like when I was practicing this, I was like, I'm going to need two, two, two one pound cakes for this because it's going to need to fill the bowl. Oh my gosh. One when you start cutting it up, it really fills up a lot of space. And you'll see in the recipe online that I tell you to cut it into half inch cubes. And what I do first is slice it in three. Okay. And then I slice it again. And then just chop, chop, this chop. This store bought thing is the way to go. Isn't yeah. that the jam? Yeah. I know. That it's is so the easy. Jam. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> taste it. I it will. is really good. I was like, I don't know okay. how delicious is this going to be. Oh, it's actually good. pretty it looks tasty. So pretty. Yeah, it's and really it good. slices mm -hmm. so smooth. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So you've got your cake, you slice that up, okay. and the key to making this really simply is preparing all of your ingredients having them ready, and then it just comes together okay. in a flash. Should we build it? Yes, the hardest okay. thing is to do the peaches. I've already grilled some so you can see how beautiful they get with the little grill marks on there. And how and long do you have, should you keep them on there? Just enough till you start to see them do that? Yeah, about five to 10 minutes. Okay. It kind of depends on how hot your grill is. I used a grill pan like this, okay. so I did yeah. it inside instead of mm -hmm. outside. So if you are a little hesitant about using the outdoor grill, but you have one of these, it works great. And this I just got makes results it like that. a little more sweet. It yes. brings out the juices. It brings out the natural sweetness and um, very underripe peaches grill beautifully because oh. they're still pretty hard and then it makes them sweeter, sweeter. as you go. Okay. So right. we grill them, slice them up, toss them with some brown sugar and a little lemon juice. Oh, nice. And we make this delicious Greek yogurt whipped cream with almond extract and lemon. So that's got a nice freshness to it. We're going to layer some store-bought cherry jam and ginger snap cookies and candied ginger. Oh, man. And we brush Done. the cake Can with amaretto. So Let's go start. for it. Okay, what do we do first? I like to start with the cake on the bottom. Okay. And so there's some cake there that you can take and you can use those plastic cups on the oh. side. Oh, here. Plastic. Yeah. So you can make your own individual oh, one. Oh, here we okay. go. Now we're getting right. There, there you go. Then, oh, maybe got and then cute. press them down. You want to, it seems like you want it to be fluffy, but press them down. Okay. And then using the pastry brush, you're going to take the amaretto, which is an almond flavored liqueur, and it's often found um, in nice. like coffee drinks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And just, yeah, dab it on there. Nice. And once you finish the trifle, that flavor just soaks right in. Okay. Okay. Then what? And then I like to do the jam next. There's okay. some other spoons if you each want to jam and, and at I the same think, time. I would think any fruit would be great in this Any trifle. fruit. And if you want to grill apricots or nectarines too, if you really want to try that part of oh, the project, awesome. you can. But you know what? If you don't want to grill them, they're delicious on their own too. So you can make it even more simple. And then we do this. Then you do the cream and you dollop that in. I could see the kiddos doing Whoops. this. Yes. And I like to do them in these plastic cups like I this because you can take them to parties really easily and then sprinkle it with the candied ginger. Ooh, it keeps sprinkle it with better. the ginger I'm gonna cookies. I'm going to more in mine. Yum. <laughs> she goes right to the top. Yeah. And it's fun. Yeah. And like you could do this with your girls, so right? Little peaches. Yeah. Yes. And then you want to get some of that juice in there. Oh man, this looks great. And okay. it just like looks messy and sloppy I'm like a really this. decadent dessert. I'm going to try this and try You're gonna to try not that make one. a mess. Oh, yeah. I know. That's yeah. kind of part of the fun, This is going to be the biggest bite I've ever taken on television, <laughs> so it may take me a few minutes to chew. you got to do that beauty bite. <laughs> I'm be try. careful. Mm. Whoa. And mm. it almost looks like, <laughs> like an ice cream sundae, oh, right? Oh, the amaretto. That I like really to load mine up. That's Isn't so that good. delicious? How are you going to eat this? You oh, need man. one of those domes um, like you mm. get at Starbucks now. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her, you're a natural. Here, would you like to try <laughs> 
I just like to fit a lot I, in there. I think the amaretto, like, it, it makes it, it <laughs> takes sorry. it up a level. It really does, because otherwise it just tastes like cake and fruit, mm, and it's just that little hint of something mm. that you're not quite sure why it has that sweet, delicious flavor, and that is that, that hidden is so flavor good. of liqueur. Okay. And it's not enough that if you have kids at home, it's going to harm them, but if you want, you could use, like, an, um, an almond syrup oh, that sure. you get at a coffee shop. You can use that instead so and good. brush the cake. Okay. Rip off, not enough. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Gorgeous. Good Undainty. work. <laughs> Lovely right, work, we want to get to a few more. This is pronounced affogato. 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 What is this? It is an Italian dessert, and this, oh, I'm mine was seriously, like this accent. is so easy. <laughs> this is hardly even doing anything. You get okay. delicious vanilla ice cream or vanilla gelato. You brew a shot of espresso. If you have instant espresso, that works great. If you have an espresso machine, perfect too. Okay. You pour it over there, and this is very common in Italy in coffee shops. If you would like to try it, Ooh, the would. ice cream melts, and you get that espresso flavor oh, in there. Yeah. And it's so simple. You serve it with a little cookie on the side, oh, and yes. it's just like that summer, right? This is the best Ooh. day ever. <laughs> I don't even, Ooh. okay, you know what's weird is I, when people oh, say, do you want man. an espresso You're flavor like, mm. cup? I'm like, or uh, no. ice cream? I always yeah, say no. no. Right? Who this wants to mix so the two? Good. Uh, mine changed. Mm. And it feels That's so fancy. Really good. You oh, feel I'm as doing though this you're too. in a little That's little so restaurant good. in Italy, sitting by the ocean, and you are totally impressing your yeah. friends if you make something to, like that. And then that. you're in Woodbury at my house, looking out at the water tower. <laughs> but right? I exactly hey, do the same you have thing. transported <laughs> them to Italy, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and last but not least, this is something my girls would love. Yes. This, these are peanut butter and banana buttons, and you freeze them. Yes. It looks so simple. They are so easy. You just slice up a banana. Which I've I given want. you measurements, but honestly, you don't even need to follow them. You put some peanut butter or almond butter, whatever you like, on a piece of banana, sprinkle it with, I like to add a little bit of cinnamon to give it a little hint of something, something. Mm -hmm. You can use Skippy, Jif, natural peanut butter, whatever. Drizzle it with dark chocolate. I eat these before I go to the gym. This is amazing. <laughs> I do. Protein. They are protein. Mm, and so fruit good. And carbs. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you're Great welcome. Great job. Great job. I'm for all have these her recipes. Do the dessert every time we every have time? Okay. Because right. we'll, you can make we'll these. Right? so good. <laughs> for all these Thank recipes, you. head to TwinCitiesLive.com and click on food. And we'll have a link to Antigone's new website, Yay. A Pinch of Lemon. You can find recipes, Cute. cooking tips, and cookbook recommendations right there on her blog.